Hi, my name is Elizabeth Hardy, and I am the mom of Caleb, who is eight, and Chase, who is two. Um, a little bit about my boys. Uh, Caleb is our biological son. We were told that he had severe autism and that he probably would never speak and that, you know, they also said that he possibly or pretty much had mental retardation. So we were kind of told, you know, there's a couple therapies out there, but you're just, this is your life, sorry. We were really intrigued by hyperbarics and so we started going to some conferences and we started doing as much research as we possibly could on it and finally decided when Caleb was about preschool to try it. So we rented a chamber for 40 dives. I think that definitely hyperbarics has come into play greatly in Caleb's advancement. Um, we did, like I say, a lot of the protocols with the diets and supplements and I think that was a great foundation for him. And then when we added in the hyperbarics we saw what we wanted to see. We just saw him just take off and, and it was a big help and a big contribution to where Caleb is today. Caleb has really come out of his shell to the fact sometimes we have to remind him to tone it down. Um, if you met Caleb today, you'd probably think he was just a really quirky kid. And the funny thing is that doctor who told him that, or told me that it was, we'd never be able to fix this, his son is in Caleb's second grade class. I mean, this is all because I'm so happy. I mean, we're just so thankful and just so happy that he is where he is, considering what we were told. You know, we have this special little boy who has his challenges yet, but you know, he's mainstreamed in second grade. We were told that probably would never happen. He skis, he plays, you know, some sports. He's quirky, he doesn't play as well, but you know, he, he's doing so good. And we're just so thankful to have him back. And um, yeah, I do get choked up quite a bit when I think about how wonderful he's doing. It's amazing because, you know, <laughs> when you're when you start out and and they they tell you your child will never talk and I mean we invested money in every toy every therapy everything you could possibly imagine with that just hope that this child would ever talk and now <laughs> you wonder if you did too well because the kid never is never quiet I mean he's constantly talking okay so now we'll start with Chase so when we realized that Caleb was doing as well as he was, obviously we decided the time had come to, you know, look at having more children. But there were other children out there that may need homes. And we already lived a quasi special needs world or, or lifestyle and we were just used to it. So we thought, well, let's get into foster care. And if the right circumstance came along and the right child came along into our lives that, you know, we would possibly become a forever home. Chase came home with us. He was about five pounds. Um, and we just decided to continue Chase on, you know, the, the path that we felt was best for him. Um, and which led us, once again, knowing that hyperbarics was something we really needed to uh, investigate for Chase. Little guy Chase, before we did hyperbarics, would maybe take 10 steps and that was it. He didn't want to put any weight on his legs at all. And um, it was starting to get a little grim where the therapists and the doctors were starting to say, we're going to have to brace him and we're going to have to do a gait trainer and we're going to have to do all these things. Well, um, I, you know, we're really excited because right now he's with the aid of a walker. He doesn't have balance yet, but with an aid of a walker, he's, he's walking around, not a problem. He's doing really good with it. He just gets in there and, and plays and, and does it just, you know, on his level. And um, really, I think, you know, we, yes, we have to look at things differently and we, we take breaks to come down here and we, we do things differently around our house, but yet, you know, our kids are still living us, you know, the same kind of life that any other child could live. 
But yeah, we try to give them as much of a normal life. And, uh, you know, we do camping. The older one right now is skiing, downhill skiing with us. Uh, you know, we just treat them as regular kids. You know, really, the boys can do just about anything that everybody else can do. We're blessed and thankful that we were able to find uh, hyperbarics and, and to find a center that was right here for us and just to see uh, just the wonderful things that our children are able to do because of hyperbarics. You know, it's, it's something that I think, I wish, I pray that more specialists or doctors or even families were willing to look at because I think they're just missing something that could help so many more children out there. You know, hopefully, hopefully we can, uh, you know, be an example.